Good afternoon. Uh, what we're hearing today is a very actual uh, topic right now. It's something that everybody's talking about. So let me give you a little bit of a little context. Las, Las Malvinas is an island at the, <coughs> located at the east coast of the mainland of South America. Uh, and apparently, the islands are a uh, process of patrolling, which is very important. Uh, Great Britain and Argentina have been fighting over these islands for years. Actually, uh, <coughs> there was a huge war in 1982, in which, of course, Great Britain won, because they had a better equipment, and because they had uh, more money, more experience in wars, etc. Even though they win this war, this war is not the thing that started. All the conflicts started in 1833, so this is, is way back. Recently, Cristina Fernandez, the president of Argentina, announced that they will submit a protest to the UN demanding that they want the Valdinas back. Why is this? Because since they lost this war, but this was a very unfair war, and they still believe that Las Malvinas should be returned to their country. This is why, in a pacific way, not a war again, <coughs> and Argentina announced that they would uh, try to get it back again, but this way, in a pacific way. Let me give you definitions. I already told you what Las Malvinas are. They're these islands where, let me, they have a high GDP. These islands, they are, they, don't need the help of Great Britain in the economy. They produce their own money, they have their own GDP, their own everything. Um, yes? Uh, so, uh, did you think that maybe if they were under Argentine rule, they would be, have that bigger uh, GDP? Well, I don't think so, since the resources are there, and as I just said, they manage themselves alone. They don't need help from the Britain government, as well as they wouldn't need that much help from Argentina. Now, I want to make an emphasis on the word return. Return is to give back, meaning that the islands were once from Argentina. I also want to mention some definitions that are not in the motion, but that I will use during my speech. First of all, the Treaty of Tordesillas. This is a treaty that divided the newly discovered land outside of Europe. It was between Spain and Portugal, and Spain got the west side, that is Argentina and include these islands. Secondly, I want to tell you what Uri Posidetis is. It's a principle of international law that states that newly formed sovereign states should have the same borders that their preceding dependent area had before their independence. Where is important because I will talk about all of this during my speech. Let me tell you what our mechanism is. This, we will, if the islands are returned to Argentina, we would change the governors and make it from British to Argentina. We would change everything. Why? Because Argentina deserves to have these islands back. And if people just want to keep their uh, tradition, their nationality, it's okay. But all of the, uh, the main thing, all of the economy, it would be part of Argentina, as it should be. Now, going to my first argument. It's about treaties. As I said, there, there is this Tordesillas Treaty that divided the land. This treaty said that all of the west, west part of the newly discovered land should be for Spain. And Spain was the one that discovered Argentina. And all of the islands there are sur that surround the continent part of Argentina, etc. What does this mean? That due to this treaty, that was a treaty signed by United Kingdom, all of Argentina and these islands, let me finish, and these islands should be for Argentina, yes. Uh, if you drew the concern treaties, why Argentina attacked the islands in, in, in 1982, where the voice between the countries were, uh, were, were uh, uh, are, are drilled by the treaties by the UN? Yes, sorry, I didn't understand. If you really concerned about the uh, uh, treaties like uh, by the 1950s UN uh, UN overruled the uh, wars between the couple between the countries and Argentina uh, uh, attacked the islands uh, oh, at I understand. Well because this is a different kind of treaty. Argentina didn't sign this treaty. 
It's another kind of thing. And besides, not because Argentina once uh, broke a treaty, they're condemned for the rest of their lives. And besides, they tried to do this by the Pacific ways, but uh, Great Britain wouldn't listen. That is why they went to war. Now, going in my case, who deposited this? In the Treaty of Tordesillas, it was declared that every American territory would be for Spain, and England agreed. But in 1810, Argentina got independent. And this means that every Spanish territory belongs to Argentina, including these islands. It was in 1820 when the Malvinas were discovered and they made an official act. Somebody went there from Argentina, they put on a flag, and this is our territory. And let me tell you that this was known by the United Kingdom. People in England knew about this uh, act and nobody complained. So, thanks to this right, Malvinas should belong to Argentina. Let me tell you that this is a principle of international law. All the countries, including in the UN, I mean in the, the, the United Kingdom, signed this treaty. They agreed. And, and they agreed that all, the, all of the, uh, that all of the places that were colonies were now independent countries and they were the same borders of the colony. No, thank you. But what happened? Side proposition to, uh, told us that 
Argentinian never signed the treaty, but all the countries signed the UN treaty, is signed the UN treaty, ladies and gentlemen. That's fine. No, thank you. And here's still saying us that uh, there, there is petro uh, petroleum in, the, uh, in this island and it's really important. Well, well the, uh, England, England was that island uh, since the beginning, since the, uh, the, uh, uh, since the uh, uh, 18th century, ladies and gentlemen. And the, uh, if anybody wouldn't know in, in those times there was petroleum in that island, but actually, when petroleum uh, discovered in this islands, Argentina attacked to these islands, and it showed that actually Argentina wants to wants this island. And that's only the that there is uh, fifty-five thousand uh, dollars GDP per capita in this islands, but uh, as this island can attack, can take care of itself, and it should it should, uh, it should not be uh, the uh, Britain. But the UN Charter says that this islands cannot be an independent. Uh, country because uh, its population it isn't enough to be, become an independent country so this country actually cannot be an independent from so uh, the, 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 the thing that the proposition uh, the team told us today is for false stuff that point? yes where do you get th this from that there's not enough population to be a own country well actually i said that UN charter said that there is no in the islands in the first place, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, the, UN, uh, the UN charter is uh, uh, a source which is uh, can be reliable. So, uh, moving on, they say that uh, it should return is giving back. We said, we told you that there were both English people and the Spanish people at the same, at the same time in these islands in, in different sides. And the Spanish, uh, Spanish uh, people, uh, Spain, Spain has no governor in these islands, so they, they have no authority in, in these islands in the first place. So they have no right to say that this island is ours, but the English, English people have settlements in, the, in those islands. They, they have people on those islands. So it makes this island to English. And they also say that the first, uh, the first person, uh, the first person who came to this island uh, was was Argentina. Actually, this island uh, was owned by the French first, but French didn't uh, didn't claim this island as theirs because they didn't have settlements in, the, in this island. And the, and the first, uh, the first country who actually have settlements in this island is the English. So they have the, uh, they have the actual owner of this island. So let me go to my uh, my positive case. I am going to talk about Rio in 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 the Bay. The self-determination right of this island, ladies and gentlemen. So they are telling us that Argentina wants the island, uh, wants island back, and uh, uh, the island should be returned to Argentina. But when when we ask this to the islanders, what they say is something uh, really awkward for the Argentina people because ninety-five percent of this. Uh, uh, islanders say that we want to uh, stay in uh, stay in Britain, stay in England, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, as we know that these islanders has self determination right because there are there are in these islands more than two hundred years, ladies and gentlemen, and they are the natives of these islands because there were ne no, uh, there weren't any natives in this island when these when these islands, uh, islands uh, have been is seen in the first place, ladies and gentlemen. So they are the natives of these islanders and they have a self-determination right which is given by the UN. And, and if they if, as we can say that these uh, people have self-determination right, so it makes the, these people to decide on their future and if they decide uh, the, as as ninety five percent like uh, to stay in England, so Argentina shouldn't be uh, shouldn't have any claims if they really thinking about the islanders uh, happiness ladies and gentlemen. So we are saying that these islanders are happy in the in the ruling of the uh, Britain because they have the, uh, the they have fifty five thousand thousand dollar per capita, which is more than America's capita. So they are actually really happy in in uh, uh, in uh, Britain control ladies and gentlemen. They, they are happy uh, with the services that uh, Britain and uh, uh, Britain is providing them ladies and gentlemen. So they are they are saying that ninety five percent of these people want to be stay in. Is it take a bit the Britain, ladies and gentlemen? On that point? Yes. If 95% of people, for example, from, from Israel and claim that they want it to be from Russia, would you make it from Russia? But this is an irrelevant question because we are asking the islanders who are living in these islands, but you are telling us uh, the people who are living in somewhere which is different from the, the, those lands. If we ask these people uh, which uh, uh, who the Czech Republic uh, should be belongs to, uh, maybe it wouldn't be a Czech, Czech 
Republic, but if you ask this institute, ask the real, real, uh, real uh, Czech Republic people, they will say this is this the Czech Republic should be the uh, stay as a Czech Republic. And when you ask these uh, islanders who, uh, uh, who, who should be uh, ruling the islands, they are, if they are saying that Britain should be uh, ruling this island, they should be they should be staying the uh, Britain, ladies and gentlemen. As we know that they are happy in these islands, Argentina has no right to say that the, uh, this island is ours if they are really thinking about the island's happiness. And if they are not thinking about the island's happiness, which really shows in the uh, 1982 war, because they attacked these islands after the petroleum is found in these islands. So Argentina has no right in these islands because they didn't want these islands uh, uh, until petroleum is found in this island, ladies and gentlemen. And it clearly shows that Argentina think of, uh, thinking about itself in here, ladies and gentlemen. They are not thinking about, uh, thinking about the islanders or the island itself. They are just thinking about their economy and they are just looking at uh, the, the, the 55,000 uh, uh, GDP per capita and they, are, uh, they, 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 they do want to see the island's national sources, ladies and gentlemen. So, because of all these reasons, I am very proud to oppose them. Yet discovered. There are thoughts that this may exist, but 
this that is not uh, true. Um, I will now go to our team's second argument, which is the conflict's origin. Uh, this actually will answer the uh, opposition member uh, point of information. In 1820, Davis Jewett went to the Malvinas, an Argentinian man, and he proclaimed sovereignty. This was after the independence of Argentina, of Argentina, 10 years after, and no one had claimed it in that time. So this person went there and proclaimed sovereignty. He established their flag, as my team had said, and they established sovereignty. No, no one in the world complained, and this was worldwide known. We asked them, why did the British didn't complain there if they had the chance? Why? Uh, and why did they wait years to do so? This, this was a public ceremony was held, and as I just said, they were, they were known by every, everyone when they established sovereignty. So I, we ask you a question, why? We don't understand why they did it if they actually said that they were the owners of these islands. Right when the, uh, when the Argentinians got to the island, Vendrick was named as a governor of this. He was an, an Argentinian person, and he went with Argentinian people to live there. That is actually showing what you said it wasn't true. He went with people, and he established uh, all of them there. Four years later, uh, the, British, uh, the British came and invaded the islands. So it's not that the, the island was empty when they arrived. The Argentinians were living there. And over 50 people were were murdered in this invasion. We think it's not correct, and we think that because nowadays 90% uh, 95% of the population is British because they kill all of the other people and they establish their population there. Um, the Argentinians did nothing to get this invasion where all these people got killed, uh, and the British didn't try to do this peacefully. They just got their ships secretly and they invaded it. It's not fair for this to happen. Uh, after this war, no, they, yeah, the British established there because they were a big country, as my team say. They were a big country. Argentina was a recently independent country. Ten years have passed since they have been independent. Uh, um, UK had years of years being this. They had a lot of ships, they had a lot of war. They were a really wealthy country. Uh, but Argentina didn't stop uh, insisting for this. Wait a minute. Uh, they got there to the island back and in, uh, tried to do it again. But those were there, there, uh, they lost again. But no tre treaty of peace was signed. Uh, I will now take your point. Uh, uh, you say that the English uh, was more advanced and had more ships and had more uh, right, uh, military power. And how does that uh, justify it? if you if you that proved that it was not a uh, just war? Uh, how does that justify the claims of our? Um, because if we have a side which has a lot of military people and a side that is just independent, they have no wealth. Is it correct? Because uh, it, what, this one with no wealth was in an island living. Is it correct that the rich one that just get there and kills everybody? We believe it's not correct. Um, no, thank you. Um, continuing my point, all these years of British occupation, of they have been with no rights because no uh, peace treaty was signed. There's no proof. Uh, there's no um, thing that says that they won the, won the war just because they killed all the Argentinians and the Argentine, and Argentina was not able to continue this war. So in my speech I explained you the origins of this war and I tell you why the actual occupying of British is not correct and it's not a legal one because they got this through an invasion not through a legal war or through a legal treaty or through a legal, legal, legal something. Uh, that's why we tell you that because of the Utipositis, the Jordicius Treaty, and because the uh, actual occupying is not legal, it's not correct, we beg to propose. Thank you so much for your speech. And now for welcoming the second speaker, the Please take Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, uh, in this debate, I'm first going to start with some rebuttals and then I'm going to go over to my uh, point, which is about uh, the mis uh, misconception.
question that was created in this debate about uh, the, what is legal and what is right and the case of diplomacy. Firstly, uh, the Senate position came to us uh, with uh, the image of an Argentina which was uh, like a mistreated uh, and like uh, the mistreated little child which was, who was uh, taking uh, the toy away unfairly. But uh, we see that that's not the case. Uh, first of all, uh, they're saying that the English uh, forcibly invaded that uh, island and to which it was not uh, legal and that was not right. Well, excuse me, but it was completely legal and it was uh, not found by any appeals and that was how the uh, world worked back then, if, if you can face it, I don't know. Uh, when, uh, many countries invaded many places and uh, it, it was how they accepted their authority and how they take those places and uh, the case of open lines was a bit uh, confusing as to who was there first and a simple invasion was like the uh, uh, best Yes, uh, solution for this in uh, favor of the United Kingdom. And also, uh, you, you said that uh, it's not illegal, and, uh, uh, but with, as I will prove in my arguments also, and as my first speaker also uh, said, uh, in, in after the Second World War, there, there were uh, many treaties made, in, uh, especially in the 80s, the years of your uh, so called uh, righteous Spain invasion. And uh, those treaties condemned uh, the uh, invasions and wars of uh, many countries, which was signed by Argentina as it was signed by all of the people. But that fact also uh, that condemned them of invading uh, uh, anyway, and that was when it was not legal. Now, unlike what you say uh, in 1832, when it was completely legal, and England was simply taking up what was rightfully theirs. Also, continuing on my battles, uh, you say uh, the United Kingdom had more uh, power, it was a more established and more uh, militarily stronger uh, country, uh, and they, they did it like that was not right. Well, excuse me, but uh, that doesn't justify any of your claims. If England was uh, strong, uh, they took it then, uh, if, if they even. Uh, if they do it, there's uh, nothing Argentina could do, and it was how it worked. And uh, it even if it's just bad and many people die, if it's if they have all, all, all the right to do that, and uh, it's the point. It. Yes. So then why do they take on the Argentinians to kill all the people in the island? It would be the same. They have the rights, as you say. But they did not. If they did, we wouldn't even be doing this way right now. So, uh, do you, they say, you say that they tried specific ways of taking the island from the United Kingdom before 82. But uh, actually, uh, they, uh, they, uh, England was just taking what was right from this. As you said, they uh, may have just left the flag, but uh, that, that there is. Uh, firstly, uh, the English pulled back their soldiers uh, because of the American Civil War and the pressure that was military pressure it had on the uh, United Kingdom. And they simply pulled that back those soldiers to make them better of the news. And they just, uh, they clearly stated that it was still their land. But then the uh, Argentinians came, taking those that land, uh, unrightfully, and without any explanation whatsoever, and just uh, put their people there and said that was theirs. And after that, when the uh, civil war was over, uh, England was once again in power, they just realized that, hmm, that, that was the point that they made. And uh, they just came back and took it. And uh, if they were killing, uh, there wasn't at, at any war. And, it's not, uh, and it, it, it's not like there was no killing in your case, too, in 82. Uh, uh, also, Let's uh, continue with uh, the complaint that you said. Why did England complain before? But uh, excuse me, but the Falkland uh, Islands have been in uh, English rule for the last uh, nearly 200 years since 1833. And uh, I want to say, why did Argentina complain since uh, 1982? Well, uh, they, they, if they really, really wanted the islands, if they really valued the islands and their people, they wouldn't have waited that much for the people to become in real Englishmen and they, they, they would uh, have not a good lost ground. Uh, uh, of claims on the islands. So, on that point? No. Uh, on to my constructive case now. Uh, before, first of all, uh, I want to uh, uh, prove the British rule in two points. Uh, and one point, uh, uh, the point of legal and diplomacy that seems to be confusing this like proposition. First of all, you say that it was not legal for Argentina to do that. But, uh, and that the English invasion caused deaths and it was not first. First of all, I want to remind you that when Argentina invaded the islands in uh, 18, not 18, 1983, uh, uh, hundreds of soldiers died on both, uh, both sides. And uh, I've seen no difference uh, between the lives of soldiers and lives of citizens. And uh, this is also a negative impact on, on the uh, islanders themselves, who were uh, British citizens on British land, which have been British. Their fathers have been uh, under British rule, their grandfathers have been written under British rule for the last uh, 150 years. And also, uh, uh, these people uh, obviously do not want uh, Argentina because they, as my first speaker said, they reprimanded it from British rule and they also uh, have, uh, are very happy and they have a 
$5,000 GDP that's in higher than the United States, as my friend said. And uh, these people are very well uh, under the British supervision. And uh, Argentina has completely no, uh, no uh, claim with this because uh, they didn't even uh, uh, help this. Uh, they, there was no way they could have helped or affected the uh, current GDP of these people. This, they, this thing flourished and extended and uh, get, get this money under the British rule. And that's all because of the that British rule. And, this, uh, and Britain uh, is, uh, as you said, an advanced country, even now, in United Kingdom. And uh, these days they offer uh, a lot more services and better uh, things to these people than Argentina. What can Argentina offer? Argentina is uh, still uh, a medium country who's struggling with this, uh, social problems like poverty and unemployment. And it's still uh, a, a, a very, uh, not a very, very rich country. And England has been uh, looking after these people for a lot of time. And it will be just not right to give back to Argentina. And also, uh, in 1833, it was justified by all means that the English invaded this place. But uh, as I said, uh, Argentina was uh, bound by diplomacy, and a diplomacy that was established uh, through the whole world, the United Nations. And they, by breaking this, I think that's beating a side of that they uh, forfeited all their claims to the island by doing such an uh, unrighteous act. And uh, this could may be solved uh, in other ways, but they broke the peace pacts uh, uh, within the United Nations, unlike the United Kingdom, who uh, invaded them and uh, took it what was right from theirs. Also, uh, you, you, said, yes. um, you said it has been theirs for years, but what about the UN order for them to retreat other colonies, colonies throughout the world? Well, uh, they, they did obey the, those things, but there was no uh, UN uh, order to retreat from Falkland is a very different case uh, with the constitution and that's why we're debating it today. And also, uh, you, you say that these people are Argentine and more that they killed them. Well, uh, it does not really matter for such opposition. We, uh, we, uh, we, we just uh, see the past as uh, it can be, it could have been nasty, it could have been bad, it could have been unrighteous. But what is important for us is now and the happiness of the Falkland Islands now who have, our under, uh, who have lost of money under the British rule and who are uh, better than most people uh, around the world. And, uh, and, and, and they are like, uh, they are for uh, United Kingdom's rule. If they really want Argentina, they, they will be referendum for England's rule. And uh, these people are uh, British, uh, both nationally and both uh, being under the of British. And uh, to just take them away and give to Argentina now would not make anyone happy, and nobody would profit uh, in the end, and the people would be unhappy, which is the main goal of us, unlike your government. And also, uh, if you really think the United Kingdom uh, is afraid of the place, well, I will tell you something. United